I'm Dr. Ted Rothstein, retired from the active practice of orthodontics and the inventor and developer of OJW weight control, an appliance and protocol now incorporated under the discipline and specialty I have named dental weight control and on its way to becoming the 13th specialty of dentistry. I'm joined today by my colleague, also an orthodontist, Dr. Ade Dolopo Ayedia, or as she likes to be called, Dr. Dolly, the newest provider of the OJW service and doing it for almost a year now. Dr. Dolly. It's great to be here, Dr. Ted. Thanks for having me. Let's begin by telling us about your background and how you became aware of OJW and dental weight control. Thank you, Dr. Ted. So uh, I'm originally from Nigeria, um, born into a family of six, uh, moved to the U.S. in 2000, pretty much did most of my primary and secondary education in Nigeria. Um, came in here again in 2000 and um, I did my first degree in dental hygiene at University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Um, and I remember going through dental hygiene and um, took a nutrition course. I think that was my first exposure to really being aware of what you put into your body. Um, and then I went to dental school at Meharry Medical College in Nashville. Um, and I did my residency at Howard University in orthodontics. Um, I'm married with kids. Um, have, we have three beautiful children and a boy and two girls. Um, and, you know, life has been good. Uh, but, you know, that's pretty much a little bit about me. Well, that's interesting. Now, after several decades of the information being out there, and more recently, the step-by-step -step video providing the service on an actual patient, and a hands-on book for new providers, The Dental Professional's Guide to Providing OJW on Amazon, dentists and orthodontists are having the chance to familiarize themselves with the OJW and decide whether they want to incorporate it as a new service in their practices and call it their OJW Dental Weight Control Service. From the very beginning of the OJW Weight Control Service, I've been keenly aware that dentists have conjured up many reasons to hesitate becoming a provider. Indeed, I wrote an article on the myths about OJW that keep dental professionals on the fence. For example, the myth that weight control is not within the scope of dentistry. That's nonsense. Of course it is in every state. Bearing that in mind, Dr. Dolly, my first question to you is, what made you want to provide the service? Great question, Dr. Ted. So actually, um, my first exposure to OGW was through a parent of one of my patients. He walked up to me and said, hey, doc, have you heard about jaw wiring? And I said, jaw wiring? What do you mean? You mean after orthognathic surgery? He was like, no, jaw wiring for weight loss. I said, hmm, I don't think I've heard that before, but I'll do my research. He was like, you know, I'm just wondering if you can render such a service. So I did my research months after he gave me Dr. Ted's information and I had it for maybe a month or so. And I said, you know what? Let me reach out to Dr. Ted. I did my research and impressively, I mean, you know, I was impressed, but then again, it looked a little bit uh, scary. Um, but um, essentially, why am I providing the service? So a little backstory. Um, when I was younger, I was somewhat chubby and cute. <laughs> And I remember that I used to get teased so much about how chubby and cute I was. And I didn't like it. I didn't think it was funny. Uh, but of course, you know, it was baby fat. And then I have a tendency, or should I say, it kind of runs in the family to be a little on the chunky side. But that's not atypical. Nigerians usually, they like their women a little bit chunky. So it's a matter of preference. Um, but having moved to America and being exposed to 
um, all of the you know nutritional training and um, how being healthy is important and pretty much being aware of what you put in your body and you know, staying healthy. Um, uh, that has come to help me to realize that you might be predisposed to being obese, but it doesn't mean that you have to pretty much give into it. You know, there are things that you can do to help you try to at least reduce that predisposition. Um, so, you know, that's a little backstory on a personal level. But then I thought to myself, you know, there are people that are struggling with this thing day in and day out. Some people don't find it that easy to go to the gym or, you know, or try to be mindful of what they're eating. And some people want it badly. They want to lose weight. They want to feel better, but just don't have the drive and don't know how, you know, to do it. So I thought, well, it's not too far from practicing orthodontics. Why don't we see, you know, I'll try if I'm able to help maybe 10 in my whole career, I'll call that a success. So I decided that, you know what? Let's get on board with Dr. Ted and change lives and help people to be healthy and be a healthier version of themselves. So hence why I'm on board with OJW. Wow, thank you. What an answer. Oh, my. <laughs> and I'm sure along the way, you had your moments when you questioned whether or not it was right for you. Mm -hmm. If there was a reason you hesitated to become an OJW provider, what was it and how did you overcome it? Um, I initially, um, I thought it was kind of strange uh, to wire your jaws so that you're not able to actually compulsively eat. But having done research and read about success stories, like I said, it's not too far fetched. It's not that different from practicing orthodontics. The difference is the results are different. You're not putting braces on to align the teeth. In this instance, you're helping the person to be able to control their compulsive eating. So, you know, I'm like, okay, uh, we get a clearance from the physician. As long as the, the physician clears the patient and the patient pretty much understands what they're about to embark on, um, you know, then I felt, okay, um, you know, all of the things to be afraid of, is the patient going to eat enough? Are they going to take in enough calories? Uh, are they going to pass out? Are they going to aspirate? Like there are other things. I mean, there are definitely things that you you could be concerned about, but considering this service is, you know, provided to people that are, are able to, you know, pretty much think and they're able to phantom pretty much the whole process, then you're not really worried per se, but, you know, we check on the patients to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. And they have all the support, all the information that is needed to be successful. So I haven't thought about all of that. I said, okay, fine. You know, this is doable. Again, Dr. Ted has been doing this for years. And I thought, Ooh, I mean, what could happen? I have Dr. Ted on my side. <laughs> He's been doing this for years and, you know, there hasn't been any issues then why not? You know, let's go for it. Let's help change lives and help people to be a healthier version of themselves. That's it. Help people to be a healthy version of themselves. Lastly, what advice would you give other dental professionals who have considered becoming a provider but are hesitating for one reason or another? Well, I would say read about it and contact Dr. Ted. He has so much information already out there that will help you to understand how the process works. And you start by one, just do one. And you can decide to have that one be a family member, whoever, you know, a friend. And just start by doing one and say, we do this for maybe a week and see how it goes. And if you've done that and you saw that nothing serious, nothing life-threatening happens, then maybe that will help your comfort level 
but certainly I don't see anything stopping anyone from providing the service. If you have the heart and you have the willingness, you're eager to help change lives, um, then certainly you need to get on board. You know, I agree. And I've shown that it's a safe and effective service. Yes. One more thing, Dr. Dolly. Do you know what the 12 specialties of dentistry are? That's a good question. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Maybe I might leave one or two out, but I'll try my best. Shall I begin? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Orthodontics, uh, endodontics, prosthodontics, periodontics, pediatric dentistry, oral maxillofacial surgery, uh, oral max maxillofacial pathology, oral maxillofacial radiology, um, hmm, oral medicine, and I think it's oral medicine, uh, dental anesthesiology. Um, how many have I said, Dr. Ted? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I've been trying to keep track. Well, anyway, that's pretty, that's pretty good. The 12 specialties of dentistry are actually right behind me. Mm. And we're hoping, no, we're optimistic that dental weight control using OJW will become one day the 13th specialty. That's correct. Okay. That looks like we've done everything today. Huh? Pretty good. Your 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 explanation, your your very clear and 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 I think it will give give people who are still hesitant uh, the impetus to uh to become providers. Yeah. So Dolly, it's been wonderful having you here today. And more so that you are such a dedicated and passionate provider of the OJW weight control appliance and protocol out in your office in Denville, New Jersey. Right, Denville, huh? Right. I'm so happy to have you have come here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Ted. It's been a pleasure. You've been so much fun to work with. Thank, Thank you, you for all the work Thank you put forth. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to have you. And and. I hope you'll be my successor. That's what I'm that's what I hope and pray for. I, I'm hoping and praying so, Dr. Ted. Those shoes, they are big. They are very <laughs> big to feel. But, but you can fit right in. <laughs> you fit right <laughs> in them, Dolly. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Ted. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you all for coming in and listening to it. We hope we've given you a lot of good information that you can uh, go forth and become providers. Thanks for having me, Dr. Ted.